Previously on Origins Nook, I showed you 10 Christmas DIYs using chenille wires. If you haven't seen that video yet, make sure to check it out right after today's video. For today's video, show sure real. hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here my name is nara g and today i will be showing you a very very simple dollar tree wall art diy so Barbara king one of my subscribers has suggested we try something with white and gold after i did um, the charge play diy using black and gold so today's wall art diy would be white and gold and i'll be using some 5 by 12 dollar tree frames as well as this flowers which i also got from the dollar tree we will be needing no spray paint because these flowers already come in gold and some other colors as well but i chose to use just the gold colors lastly we will be using these ikea lot mirrors which are leftovers from my wall my giant wall mirror decor diy which i did previously on the channel Without wasting any more time, let's get started. Like I had said from the start of this video, this is a very, very easy and straightforward DIY. So I do hope you like it. However, um, if you're new here, I will also love it if you can hit that subscribe button and join my family. And for my returning subscribers, thank you so much for always sticking with me. So I will be using only three frames for this DIY. If you're looking to doing more, that will be even more perfect, okay? The more, the better. I'm only using three because of the space that I'm looking to putting this afterwards, as you would see towards the end of this video. So these frames already come with a very nice um, attachment on the back that you can easily hang on the wall. So that makes it pretty easy. It also already have a glass which I will not be taking out. I'm going to keep that in there even though I'll be adding a mirror onto this. One thing you want to keep in mind is that I am choosing to add a mirror for this but you can just do this without the mirrors. You can do this with just paper in there like white paper or whatever color you want on there or just leave it blank and just use the, the glass that comes with the frame okay. It will look just as good alright but because of course I like to be a little bit extra I'm adding a mirror into this and then we'll go ahead and cover this up as you can see me doing right now. Just watch as I do this. You want to be gentle with doing this else you're going to crack your mirror or your glass. So these frames are actually pretty sturdy for Dollarama frames to be honest because most of the times the frames tend to be very wobbly but I really like the fact that these ones are quite sturdy. Okay so that's phase one done. And then the last and final part for this DIY would be to apply our flower onto our mirror frame. To do this, I have to unscrew the hanging area on the back of the flower because that would not allow me to properly glue this flower on our mirror. So it is very easy to actually unscrew that part and next thing I will use my hot glue to put that back together while at the same time attaching this onto our mirror frame. Just watch as I complete this. Although I am using hot glue to do this, you could also use Mod Podge or Tacky Glue to actually glue this down on your mirror. Oh, I think I failed to mention the sizes of these mirrors because I'm using a 5x12 um, picture frame, 12.7 picture frame. I'm actually using a 12x12 mirror. Okay, so those fit in perfectly um, into these frames. So you may want to check that out if you plan on using mirrors um, in your own DIY just like I'm currently doing. Otherwise, you can just use the frames just as they come and the flowers and that will look just as good. With Christmas around the corner, this will make a very simple and very thoughtful gift for someone special, okay? You could just whip up something like this and have it well packaged and gift it to a friend or family. And trust me, they're definitely going to appreciate you for this. I love how this turned out. So just stick with me to the end and see how I display my new wall art in my office. 
Well, even though this is not a long video, I would love it if you can comment white and gold in the comment section if you've watched right up to this point and show your girls some love. Hello, it's Christmas period, so why not drop a comment down below so we can interact, okay? <laughs> Thank you. Once I was done with all three DIYs, I went ahead and mounted them up in my home office and this is what they all look like. This is our final look guys and I love it. I love how seamlessly this fits into my home office and I just love it. Please do let me know in the comment section what you do think about this wall decor DIY. The dollar store actually carried these frames in black and white so you could also try this in black as opposed to white like I just did so or a combination of both black and white as well. Black, white and gold would look just as good. Alright so um, yeah. You can also check out my video on how I transformed this small space into my home office. I did that a couple of videos ago. So I will have that link in the description box for those of you who haven't watched it yet. So you may want to check it out right after this video as well. With that said, that will bring us to the end of this video. If you did enjoy this video, please do not forget to hit that like button and also hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you do not miss a thing. In the meantime, always remember to be your fun self no matter what life throws at you. Thank you all for watching and have a happy holiday. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, guys.